Alright, so here we have two new motors from iFlyRC.com. Uh, these are from the Tachyon Race Specs series, and these are micro motors uh, 1108 5000 kV and 1108 6000 kV. Uh, they also make uh, the 7500 kV version. Uh, I only got uh, these two uh, kV uh, models. So sent in by iFlyRC.com. So thank you for sending the motors so that I can put them on the truss stand, uh, get some tests, so we can compare against other motors. Then of course uh, share results with uh, you guys. So thank you to iFlyRC.com for sending uh, samples. Uh, they've uh, previously sent a few motors, so they're in the channel. Check those out. So they come in this interesting uh, packaging. It's a plastic case. So very well protected and uh, looks like they come two pieces per uh, pack. So here they are. Plenty of wire. That's quite long actually. We will measure that later. It comes with an assortment of uh, screws. Uh, M2 screws. Looks like uh, four for mounting and two screws for the propellers for each motor. So six screws total. Okay and here they are. 1108 size motors. And uh, just some of the uh, features of the motor, uh, one of the main ones is those are N52 magnets and the copper winding is high temperature copper they're using there so that's uh, good if that's the case and the configuration of the motor is uh, they're using the naked bottom uh, for reduced weight and just a nice looking uh, spoke pattern there, five spokes looks like the shaft is pressed in so one thing I, I've mentioned before on these 11 size motors is that because they're so tiny the, sh the shaft has to be pressed in and a lot of times the props are quite tight so when you start pressing the props in that actually presses the shaft out and then you get a vertical play. So one of the things that uh, I've been doing is I enlarge the center hole of the propellers with the 1 16th drill bit and that helps a lot because then the propeller just mounts straight in and then you're not pushing against the shaft. So let's uh, get some weight. Uh, they're saying uh, these are just under 10 grams, uh, 9.3 grams they're saying with uh, that length of wire. So let's see if that's the case. So that's pretty long wire. This wire doesn't weigh much so if I was to cut it I'd probably just get rid of maybe 0.3 grams or so, not even half a gram I don't think. Okay, so let's see what it weighs with that much wire. It's uh, 9.2. That wire doesn't weigh that long, so if I was to cut it, it'd probably uh, lose uh, 0.1 or 0.2 grams. So, you know, it's uh, about a 9 gram motor. So that's a little bit heavier than the other 11 size motors, but you have to remember this is a 8 millimeter height on the stator. Big portion of the weight on motors comes from the stator and copper, and as you go taller on stator, you're increasing the magnet size, uh, copper, and also the iron on the stator. So those are the three things that weight the most on the motor. So when you go taller, you increase the weight of the motor more than if you were to go a little bit wider. So. Alright, so we're gonna take out the, um, the C-clip and just have a closer look at the motor. Let's take that C-clip out. Uh, usually just use a plastic bag and a uh, needle nose plier or like these cutting pliers. And just kind of like grab the shaft with one uh, side and then the clip with the other one and usually it comes out so you have to do it so there it goes pops out that way if it springs out you don't lose it, it'll stay inside the bag uh, same thing when you put it in you use the bag to hold it in you kind of just uh, make it tight so that actually helps you hold the circlip there and then you press it in, you know, you snap it in. It's kind of harder to put it in than to take it out. We'll use the same bag to hold that because these are easy to get loose and they don't give you a spare one. It would be a good idea to give you a spare one. And there's the brass washer. Just put it in there. So this should come right out. Uh, there it goes, yeah, not too bad. 
So let's have a look at this under the magnifying glass. All right, so here's the bell with the magnets, and 2 magnets. So they're quite long, eight millimeters. And uh, and there's a brass washer inside. And also notice there's also a um, a rubber O-ring as well. So I imagine that yeah, there's a little O-ring. So uh, maybe that's to dampen any. Um, vibration maybe I don't know I think I've seen that in one other motor I forget which one uh, you would have that uh, larger motor so yeah, so that's interesting they're adding that little o-ring there with the brass washer and it does have a nice and long portion here where the shaft is inserted there's a lot of uh, contact there I can't really see it here it's kind of hard but uh, the sleeve on the bell cap where the shaft is inserted uh, seems to be fairly long so hopefully that uh, keeps the shaft in place so it doesn't shift and then you know cause vertical play when you're putting the, the propellers in and here's the stator nicely wound coils there on the stator the windings look pretty good nice and neat fairly thick wire it looks like it's single strand anyway it, it's hard to tell right there but it's supposed to be high temperature uh, wire so that looks pretty good and let's see what the stator height is should be eight millimeters there we go it looks like eight millimeters right there so nominal size so I'd say overall uh, looks like a pretty well put together micro motor uh, so let's see how it performs on the thrust stand and how it compares to other 1108s that I've tested and of course also the 1106s so we'll put this back together and see how it performs so it should be a good one for uh, two and a half and three inch the 6000 of course on 3s and the 5000 is probably gonna be best performance on 3s and 4s probably where it's gonna shine so we'll see how it does
All right, so let's have a quick look at the thrust test results for this new motor from iFlyRC.com. Uh, this one's the Tachyon T1108 5000 kV. Uh, this one measured at a slightly lower 4500 kV as measured by thrust stand, so just slightly lower, not too bad. Uh, so based on that kV, I went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S with the two and a half inch props all the way to three inch, usual props. Uh, so on the two and a half inch props, we're seeing around 300 grams at 4S. Uh, at a very reasonable amperage, 9.7, 9.3 right here. As the props on load, once you're flying, of course, it's going to be lower, maybe 25 to 35% lower. So it's reasonable amps there on, on these uh, props. And as we increase the prop size and blade count, of course, the um, thrust is going to increase. And so does the load on the motor, as expected. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Everything seems to be in line with what to expect. So still a viable solution on 3S. Uh, we're seeing decent thrust, almost uh, 300 grams right here. And as we go to 3 inch, of course, we break the 400 gram mark. Uh, the amps are quite high here because it's static, uh, especially this Rotor X 3044T prop. This one puts a lot of load on the motors. It's got a very wide blade, so it's uh, pulling a lot of air and it's a heavy blade for this small motor. So you can see that's why uh, you can even see it on the on the video. The motor seems to kind of bog down at the top, but it's just the prop. It's not moving. So not really a good prop to test uh, on static. You know, these numbers might be a little bit uh, not showing the actual performance of the prop. As you can see, very high amps. If you use this prop on 4S, I would check the temperatures, you know, make sure it's not running way too hot on 4S. Uh, 3S, it should be okay. Uh, so overall, as you can see, uh, pretty good performance out of this motor. Uh, compared to the 1106 of the same KV, this motor is a little bit more powerful. I'm seeing uh, anywhere from 50 to about 60 or even 80 grams higher against the 1106 of the same uh, KV. Of course it's going to be pulling more amps because it's making more power, but it is a more powerful motor than the 1106 of course. Uh, so it could be a good uh, option for a 3 inch build. Uh, so only thing left to see is how durable these motors are and if, if in fact uh, it's, it's actually a good match for uh, small builds like a 3 inch. Uh, perhaps with a 4 inch prop this motor would do pretty well but there's no four inch props that fit these uh, t-type motors so overall good performance out of this little motor so hope you find the data useful and i'll be testing the 6000 kv the higher kv version that i got i'll be testing that soon so keep an eye out for the other version of this motor so thank you for watching and until the next video